In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. How did your first week of Lent go? How's that uh, new spiritual practice you're taking on? How about uh, what it is you gave up? Or let me guess, did you give up Lent for Lent this year? <laughs> Well, no matter where you find yourself on your journey, I'm hoping that today I can give you some food for thought on, on your Lenten journey. So last week, we heard the story from Genesis about Adam and Eve. And we find Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and they are eating from the tree of knowledge. Now, there are a lot of ideas of what this knowledge is, what this tree represents, what this apple they ate represents. But one of my favorite interpretations of this is a gentleman by the name of Pierre Teilhard de Chardin. He, is a, uh, he was a Jesuit priest and paleontologist who lived in the late 19th century into the 20th century. And Teilhard said that what happened in the Garden of Eden, the knowledge that was found was the knowledge that we are evolving. And what Teilhard says is that we're not just evolving through the process that Darwin laid out, this process of natural selection and gene mutation, but we're actually evolving spiritually. Our understanding of God, our faith, our spirit is evolving. I think we're all aware of this process of evolution that's going on around us all the time. It's what drives us, it's what makes us want to be better, it's what makes us want to have the best for those around us and in our community. But as humans, we seem to have these two sides. We have this spiritual side, this side of us that's born from above. And as Christians, this is the side of us that desires to learn more about God and to love God more. This is the side of us that wants to learn more about our neighbor and to love our neighbor more. And this spiritual side is developed through our community, through prayer and worship. And the other side of us is that human side. It's that, that animal side, that physical side of us. And in today's gospel, Jesus refers to this as being the side of us that is born of the flesh. This is the side of us that sins. This is the side of us that breaks all those commandments we just talked about at the beginning of the service. This is the side of us that is programmed for survival and to take care of our own. But above, but above all, it's the side of us that's programmed to take care of ourselves and protect ourselves. And this side of us is developed through competition, through winning and through losing. Now both of these sides are very important. When our spiritual self is healthy and in balance with our human side, we can produce amazing results. The challenge that we face is that our society, for the most part, doesn't really value this spiritual side. It often comes secondary. We value this competitive side much, much more. We spend more time at school studying, or on the field playing sports, or in the office trying to get ahead than we spend in prayer and in silence, and in worship, praising God. We spend more time trying to make a name for ourselves, trying to be famous, 
trying to be number one, then we spend giving our bodies time to relax and heal itself. More than we spend time helping those in need. We are simply out of balance. And this is why Jesus is so awesome. Yeah, I said, yeah, let me say that again. This is why Jesus is so awesome. <laughs> Jesus, he didn't come to condemn us. He came to save us. He came to kick our butts a little bit. He came to be an example of what this balance looks like. And he invites us to follow in his footsteps. Jesus came to remind us that we are human beings and that God understands that we are human beings and that there are going to be temptations and we're going to make mistakes. And this is why Jesus taught us that forgiveness is so important. This is why Jesus forgave us and told us to forgive those around us. We have an opportunity to hit the reset button. We have an opportunity to make amends with God and the people in our life and to try again. Sometimes we have to do this over and over and over again. And Jesus taught us because this is an essential part of our evolution so that we are able to be renewed so that we can move forward. This is how much our God loves us. In this time of Lent, we set aside time to re reflect on our spiritual evolution. We have an opportunity to reflect on the side of us that lives in this world, that human side of us, and we have time to reflect on that spiritual side. We have an opportunity to give something up or to take on a new spiritual practice so that we might experience a life that's more balanced, that's more fulfilling, that's more peaceful. I invite you to make time to spend time in this sacred and special place. And maybe what you learn this Lent, maybe what you learn this Lent is something that you'll not only take with you in this season, but is something that will last a lifetime.